Hello watch fans, Berth here watches here and this time for you we have a 2007 men's Rolex Air King. Now I'm going to go through the text on the dial one by one. So obviously Rolex is the company, then you've got Oyster, that refers to the waterproof case, this Oyster design. Perpetual means it's an automatic, that movement spins, you should never need to mind it manually that's why it's called Perpetual. Air King is a sub-brand first launched in 1945 and it was around the end of the First World War of course, sorry Second World War, and it was king size at 34mm. This is actually a little bit bigger than that, this is closer to 35mm. And then you've got the important words at the bottom with about it being chronometer officially tested. This is the first model Air King that was a chronometer rated watch. The rest was more of the entry range and they were never chronometer tested, but this one is. 2007 was the year that this model was introduced and as well as having the chronometer rating and the sapphire crystal, the other thing it got was a better clasp. It hasn't got the old folded clasp of some of the Rolexes, this is a properly engineered clasp. Now, as you'll see, the bracelet has scuffs and marks because we don't polish watches here. These would come up quite well. And to be honest, I'm not that far against having a bracelet polished, but we don't do it. So I, what I don't want to do is say, oh, we'll do it and then make a hash of it because it's not something we do. But that could be polished up. It's screw down crown, of course, with the Rolex logo. It's got the engineer's bezel so you could get these as a smooth bezel and you could get them as a fluted bezel but this well i'm not sure you could get the fluted actually but this is the engineer's bezel in steel this also has pink hour markers at one two four five etc very very subtle pink and when they glow they glow blue now I'm not sure how you get from the pink to the blue, I'm not the chemist, but we've got a photo on the website that shows that blue. Overall, if you want a watch that you can wear daily, that's not too flash, but sturdy and strong and reliable, the better bracelet, you know it's going to be a good timekeeper, and it's got that magic word Rolex on the dial. You're not going to go too far wrong. Obviously, if you want a date, then you're going to need to move up to a date just and pay a little more. But I, I, I like this. I like that it's a little bit different with the pink loom. Isn't it just a little less boring when you've got some colour? Now, you can see more on this watch if you click the link in the pinned comment. That will take you through to Berthier Watch's website. And or you could head there directly, just Google it, you'll find it. You'll get the wrist shot, you'll get the movement photos. Oh, the other thing that was introduced in 2007, before I go, before I go. Uh, the serial number on Rolex is in, in between the bottom lugs there, which is not exactly convenient. But on these, it's actually printed on the inside of the rehaul as well. You've got Rolex, 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 or on the outside and then the serial number. So that should match what's behind that, and it does. And we've checked it on the lost and stolen register to make sure of, obviously that it's not either of those things. We do that on the majority of our watches. You can't check them all, not all, everything has a serial number. But a nice thing in good used order, I'm ready to wear and enjoy right about now. Thank you for watching, we'll see you again soon.